and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed i greatly appreciate it we're on the road to 5k subs 5k y'all want to watch me y'all sure y'all want to watch me because it's gonna get a little crazy because i got some things i was talking with my bro el fusio Ooh, i just like this steering wheel i might have to swap out my steering wheel i like that Why so serious? Uh, let's get it, man. Uh. Lane, Lane, H made it. Serious, Lane, serious, Lane, Lane, serious, Lane, Lane, serious, serious, Lane, Lane, serious, Lane, Lane, serious, Lane, Lane, serious, serious, Lane, Lane, serious, 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 This thing up the good old, rrr, rrr. but anyway, watch some serious. What's going on, guys? It's your guy, or what's going on, serious nation? Sorry about that. It's your guy, serious mindset, and we are back with another video. First and foremost, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that notification bell, make sure you hit the like button, all that stuff, not in that order and all whatever. Make sure you hit that notification bell, don't say that. Yep, sure did. At the end of the day, the most important thing is drop that fire emoji right after watching the series. I greatly appreciate it, guys. But as you see, we are going to do a, um, we're going to do maintenance on the wide body. So the wide body, hold on, oh, wait, 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 hold on. I need to drop this thing. I need to drop this thing, hold on. Ooh, ooh. I didn't like the way that dropped. So, you guys have been seeing a whole bunch of videos of me working through my, um, through my, uh, trying to get my suspension right. So now, uh, you guys seen the video of me getting my wheels. Now, I have had the tires for maybe less than maybe four or five days. And I haven't, I haven't truly been focused on the build of my cars because the weather is tremendously changing again as i stated in my previous videos within the state of washington so with that being said when things happen you have to adapt and now i am adapting to uh something else not not particularly containing my channel which i can put on my channel but i am building my brand my uh apparel line so this is something that i always loved always dreamed of this is my um my third go round as far as trying to do a successful brand um and it's a lot it's a lot that, that that comes with it as well um but i'm excited i'm nervous uh we're going to be doing the winter uh drop uh fall drop whatever uh try to get the release you know probably before this video drop uh yeah uh before after anyway what's this uh, but i can say that it's going to be some drop pieces coming out and i got one of mine on right here and you know serious mindset basically is you i stated before in my previous videos that you can do anything once you put your mind to it and that's you that's anything that it, it doesn't have to just be fitness it doesn't have to be uh getting a car i mean it's just general life so i stand by it i back it i'm making every piece i i literally make every piece i'm not no no cap no joke i make every piece because i want to hold as much as i can in house and when i say that is i get a chance to uh i get a chance you know and this is more so business talk so i get a chance to actually hold more the margin margin prices uh margin profit uh starting off so um but 
and that's not saying that my time I'm paid I'm, I'm basically working for free basically you know making my shirts I do my website I do I do a lot of things on there so that's what I'm working on uh, within these rainy days uh, coming to Washington State as you see the Sun is out so the Sun is actually out so today we are going to be doing an all change we're going we're going to dodge we're going to dodge we're going to dodge we are going to dodge to do an actual oil change. We're looking at, we're looking at 5,000 and some change. I don't look, 5,000 and some change? Like this is not even my daily car and I got the car in March. I got it March, I think March, March, April or something like that. So I don't even know, I, I, I look, I don't even know. But uh, that's where we're going, guys. Stay tuned. Uh, again, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, I greatly appreciate it. We're on the road to 5K subs. 5K. Y'all want to watch me? Y'all sure y'all want to watch me? Because it's going to get a little crazy. Because I got some things. I was talking with my bro, El Fusio. Link will be in the description. But I was talking to my bro about plans for the Ram. Because it, now it's going to be time for me to switch to the ramp. But I can't go too crazy out here in Washington State because it's going to rain. Like, hint, hint. <laughs> but, uh, but, guys, make sure you subscribe to my bro. Make sure you subscribe to my channel as well. But let's get it, guys. All right, guys. So we are at Dodge right now. So this is probably the worst that I actually seen the wide body. Like, and the camera, it looks shiny, but then it's like the little details. Like, I have water spots in my, in my windows now. Look at that, look at that. So I'm gonna have to take care of that. And then the paint, it's a look, it's feeling it's like a little rough because water actually sat on it. I didn't actually dry it off or nothing. So you guys can see, of course, we got those tire stickers on that thing. You know what I mean? So, at the same time, there's just so much things on here. And you already know, of course, we're gonna end up switching out the wheels uh, because we already have the tire set up. So, let me go ahead and work. Oh, she, she, she gotta take her pictures and stuff. Cause you know, they gotta take your pictures of your vehicle when it gets here and things like that. So they make sure that, hey, look, now nah, we took pictures this was already done there before that so at the end of the day look out look how clean that thing look you see that see that look look, look, that. look at that tent so stay tuned guys we're gonna check and see what they got inside because i see they got they got that uh um, i think that's like a cinnamon like a cinnamon raisin i don't know what that is a cinnamon raisin charger wide body or whatever it looked like a good old hellcat so stay tuned guys Look at that thing, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Going on to the. Look at that, guys. Thumbnail. <laughs> Thumbnail. <laughs> so first, first oil change. First oil change. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys a tip as well. Um, this lovely reception that I'm not gonna put on camera. <laughs> Look, when you go to the dealership and you get your oil change or anything like that. Make sure that you ask questions about services because you never know what type of package they might end up giving you. Because um, a regular oil change was, I think, what one twenty four or something it was like that. One twenty nine ninety five. So one twenty nine ninety five, and I asked to see if if when I purchase the vehicle that I have an oil uh, or a service package or whatnot, right? So the funny, the ironic thing about it is I didn't, but they actually sold packages for you to come back, which was actually cheaper to buy right now. So two years, uh, two years, three oil changes. So another flip side about it is that dealership specifically might be just selling that actual service package. So you sometimes you gotta ask questions, guys. So don't be afraid to ask questions about what you're paying for. That's the most important thing in life. Make sure you ask questions. You never know. All right, guys. So look, we are inside, and I knew this was a Hellcat because I seen uh, this other guy in uh, Washington. He has the same color. I think he, he called it cinnamon stick. So this is a wide body, wide body charger with 
Look at look at the actual uh, Brembo's. I like that color. That color just just sticks out. Look at this thing. They want 79, of course. 79 on the tag. You see it? Ooh. So you got they got the Alcatara in here. That steering wheel, man. That steering wheel, man. Man, if I had this steering wheel, ooh, I just like this steering wheel. I might have to swap out my steering wheel. I like that. And I'm not really a Dodge, I mean a, a Charger. I'm not really a Charger fan. Like the interface is cool or whatnot, but I don't know. I, I guess when you have so many sedans for a while, you kind of, you kind of like, man, want to switch it up. That's just me. You know, switch up things as you see, you got an actual sunroof. This is a typical, your, your same typical uh, wide body. It's not a red eye, it's just a regular Hellcat. Just a regular Hellcat. You see they got a, they got a wide body 392 in this thing. Scat. How much they want for the scat? 60 for the scat? Sheesh. 60 for the scat? Got the sunroof. This thing must have a must have packages on it. Yeah, Alcatara. So you got the Alcatara seating, which smells delicious in here. Uh, steering wheel is just a regular leather. Uh, I guess the only thing you guys plan for is just the seats and the actual sunroof. Because I don't have a sunroof, nor do I have the Alcatara uh, set up. So, it's probably what you end up playing for. Then they have the leather wrapped on the side as well. So, then of course, see. You know what, one thing One thing I do not like about black is that you have to keep it up. And living in Washington State, man, look, you better not have that as a daily. I tell you what, you're gonna have trouble. All right, and then they got a regular slim thing. They got a regular slim thing. Man, are these the new wheels for this year? These are hot. I like that. Those are hot. They got the five spoke things on there. These are hot. Ooh. 69. So you you guys see the difference. So this is a 69 for uh 2020 slim. And then the the actual wide bodies that you guys see, I think. Uh, I forgot what that price was. We're gonna go back in the video. 60 for the scat? Sheesh. So, of course you got 707, then you got 485, I say 500, I say 500. So 500, 707 right here. So, at the end of the day, yeah, that's what you got right here. So this is just a regular Challenger. And then, oh, what I didn't show y'all inside there in the cinnamon stick is that they had the, uh, the red seat belts, like this one as well. So they got red seat belts in here. Yeah, that's hot. I like that, that's dope. With the big red Brembo brakes. You gotta see it. So, um, they're gonna do the uh, the maintenance or the uh, the wide body, which is the, uh, the oil change, and they don't have nothing out here. There's really nothing out here. So, you know what, what's crazy? It's like once you actually see like most of the cars out, like they all the same there's nothing like i'm not about to do a walk around there, there's nothing to even walk around and even see because nothing catches my eye nothing there's like a ooh or ah so thumbnail so but uh guys stay tuned i appreciate you guys for watching make sure you subscribe um we are going to be uh doing we might end up doing the wheels today i might i might go back home and put the wheels inside the truck and um and 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 try to see you know try to feel everything out or whatnot uh because i think i might end up installing my own uh i think i might in, install my own pretty much my own wheels my own wheels and tires oh look at this oh 
Man, I'm all up. If you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you guys know that I have a Ram RT 2011. And I always, I always, 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 always wanted a lifted truck, a lifted Jeep, a lifted whatever. And man, this thing right here is aggressive as hell. Cummings Turbo Diesel. See that, you see that sticker price? The Hellcat is how much? Wait, can you guys see that? It's like right there. You guys see that? It's kind of, I don't know if you guys can see that, but the sticker price is $72,250. The Hellcat is 69000 so a three thousand dollar difference. So you you put that you put that to comparison. That's crazy. Gotta I gotta upgrade the wife. So the wife now has to be over. Oh, oh. I like that price. I think I might be able to work with that price. Ooh. Cause you can always, if y'all don't know anything about buying cars. You can always, and I mean always, talk them down on that price. Trust me, anything is possible. I'm telling you, when you have your mindset made for anything, you can do anything. All you have to do is use your mouth the right way. You know what I mean? It's always the right way of talking to people. Um, but as I was saying previously, guys, let me take this thing out like a freaking fool. As I was saying previously, guys, uh, we're gonna be working on trying to put the wheels and tires on the wide body. So, uh, I showed you guys the actual wheels that's gonna go on there. Now I'm gonna have to, uh, the tires came in, like I said earlier. So now I'm gonna have to uh, figure out how I'm gonna go to and from. So basically, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all the wheels and the tires on the bed of the truck and then go to the tire shop, have them mounted and uh, have them uh, balanced and uh, mounted on the actual wheels. I mean, on the tires. And then come home, jack it up. Just do some manual labor, you know what I mean? It's nothing like doing, look, you guys see that I do my own manual labor, so it's not something that I'm not used to. It's just if it's gonna actually like, oh, well, you actually messed up your car. So, guys, just stay tuned. I appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that sub button. Watch some serious, er. So serious. Let's get it, man.